So who ever wanted to see Chrono Trigger get cut wide open? Because that's what we're doing today on Chrono Trigger Plus. Previously we did the Marl subquest. And we got some very broken weapons. Or items. The Prism Helm. Prism Specs. Rainbow Swords. There was a sham trial going on. And sham enemies in general. But we're going back to 1999 because we could get more broken. Oh, we could get so much more broken. Back to the year 1999. Won't need a husband, won't need your wife. Pick your son, pick your daughters too. From the bottom of a long glass too. Whoa, whoa. First things first. God pays attention to our wonder shot. It's even more powerful than the poor military. Well, that's because it is, buddy. He wants to work on that gun! And he needs a stabilizer. So first things first, we're gonna have to go grab a stabilizer. Also the Aerostome! There's something unlocked here, too. I might as well get this out of the way while I'm traveling. Yeah, it's him. He's gonna be on our team for the rest of the game. He has shoddy healing, but look at his magic stat. Not a very magical robot. Keep that in mind. He does have the power. He does he does have the power skills to pay the power bills. Because he needs to. He runs on electricity. I think. It might be nuclear power. I don't even know. But this dude here. He has a situation and he's gonna need some help. If you did the rainbow shell quest, you could do this. So we have to go to the unmarked location. The question marks on the teleporter. We'll get back to that in a hot second. So that will take us to something regarding the rainbow shell. But we're done here for now. Nothing else inside the Aristome for us. Also note that uh, we don't have Epoch here yet. We're also going to be addressing that today. But well, let's go shopping! Just get that guy out of there. That guy right there. You saw him. You know what he does. So, this is where we get a regulator. They're super expensive! Put it on his bill! Thank you! Also, we could buy tabs here. But, uh, believe you me, I'm going to be very intimate with this guy. And not in that way, you. Trust me. It's going to be worth it. Also, I should make a little bit of money right now. I'm kind of short on cash. I have a bunch of useless weapons and items that I don't really need anymore. Like these barriers and shields. We have people that can cast barrier and shields, so we don't need those. Uh, Vedic Blade is, is a bad rainbow. Sonic Arrow is a bad Valkyrie. We got Dream Guns here. And Omega Blast you don't need, even though it's Shockwaves. And it's better than the Wonder Shot, because the Wonder Shot is kind of random. But no. Sell some... All this junk. All this junk that Robo doesn't need anymore. I need about 50 grand to do what I want to do next. It's in the Pawn Shop. Where is the Pawn Shop? There it is. The Poyozo Shop. Now, you can't sell the robot to the pawn shop, I don't think. But he has an antique suit of armor here. For 50 grand! It gets you a nether. Moon armor! Upgraded Nova armor! So, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on Robo. For magic defense. Also, Luca doesn't really need the Tobin suit anymore, because the Zodiac Cape is better. I mean, fire resist and speed. Eh, she could be squishy. It ain't gonna matter once we're done with 1999. Oh boy, you have no idea what we're in for. You have no idea. 
So we got the regulator. We got the moon armor. Those are important. Especially the moon armor, since it's magic resist. I didn't want to go to the Aristone. I wanted to go to Gob's shop. I wonder if Nabat has anything to say. No, he's just a Nabbit. Oh, now it has a regulator on it. The Wonder Shot is even more wonderful. No guarantees. We got ourselves the Gradius! This is now Luca's ultimate weapon. Oh, equip the Shockwave so we can see what the Gradius says. It could destroy cities and put stop on mech. Which is great because Luca's uh, Robo's side quest is going to be all machines. So we could stop them with the Gradius. But also we did some forest shenanigans. Which means we could finally use the Xenon Gate. There's tourism here now. We could go to the teleport station or poor. And those people over there, you can't really talk to them. They're just there for scenery. It looks like they trimmed back on the forest a little bit, let it grow out, got rid of religion. They're like, yeah, Robo didn't exist, we doubt that. So now it's Fiona's Park. A popular tourist spot. For people that just want to get into nature. Or be little shenaniganists, like that guy there. I invented a new word. Shenaniganist. A guy that does shenanigans. Also, you could train your cat here. It's Alphador the 82nd! He doesn't remember Magus no more. And this lady! She's kinda weird. Look, lady, even I don't like take lunch standing up, and I evolved for it. She's just strange. We need strange people at the park. A lot of dead ends that don't really lead anywhere. I would have hidden some items in here, like maybe some high potions or something. But, you know, I didn't develop this game. Or this ROM hack, this particular section. But if we go in this direction, it'll take us to the teleporters. We don't need a pass because we're adults. Well, kinda. I, I guess we qualify as adults. Luca's gotta be like... 17? 18? And Magus is like... several thousand? You know, if you were going by, by regular timeline. But we could come here to Pores now. The Poor Dome! Let's see who's the mayor here. Ah, progressive here at Poor. Good on her. A long line of mayors, and I bet they're all generous. Because I made them do it. So let's head over here to Bangor Dome. Wow, this is a lot more natural than I expected it to be. It's a biodome. They have so many animals here, especially some new sprites. There's a... They got some weasels. They got some cat snakes in there. Don't you have a sitting down sprite? Ugh. I think I found an SCP. No, you can't do that, kid. Why do kids want to do that? It's a bad idea. It's the Biodome. We don't know this, but that's Mr. Bangor himself, right there. He looks like a generic drinks at the pub guy. They don't all have to look like rich people, you know. He's important for a side quest that we don't know about yet. And involves the finest hotel in the world! Also, Enertrons exist! But you're still hungry. And the Snail Stop is here! And Menial Labor, even though you got robots for that! And shady... back alley deals. Stamina chip? I have money for that. Sure. Alright, thanks. 
Another one of those chips. Oh, I forgot to get a chip over in, um, over at Truce. I can get it later. Also, the music still doesn't work here. Oh, this hotel's floor hurts my eyes. Why? How can you rent a room if you're blind? No, I can't even see where I'm going now. Thank you. Hey, you look like a... This looks like an Earthbound guy. And I don't mean the, a guy that would like Mother. There's treasure in the suite that's owned by Mr. Bangor. Are, are you aware you're like married to like a 12,000 BC Oonga Boonga? But she's tired of hearing that. I'm tired of the music loop just stopping. There's definitely some chinks in the armor when it comes to this run hack, I guarantee it, but at least it's... it's interesting lore. New tube. Uh, uh, it's topical. But yeah, they, they got popular on New tube. Then there's a guy that was named Ramsey. He showed up and said the jerky was raw! They need mushrooms. And we don't really need to eat here. It seems like a dive. Also, they're selling the Chrono Special here. Mushroom casserole! With, with an S missing! Casserole. So this guy is a mushroom fanatic. Must be a critic. Probably is, kid! Trust me, this guy bought his five stars. So do you guys just let your kids eat at, like, a completely different table than you? Or is it just because of limitations on SNES RAM hacking? RAM hacking. He hacked the RAM. He bought a whole bunch of RAM and hacked it. Also, this is totally legit SNES. No ROM hacking here. This was all hidden in the game's code. That's why it's all funky. So, we have two quests already. We got something to do with Mr. Bangor. And we also have to look for mushrooms. Now we can actually talk to Mr. Bangor, now that we know about his suite. Can, can we have that? He wants a life sparkle. You can only find them in toxic environments. Okay, I know where a toxic environment is. So before we do anything else, I want to do this quest, because this quest is so broken. Maybe not broken? But yeah, it's pretty broken. Just you wait and see. It's insane. It's crazy. You will go insane thinking about it. I am hyping it up like crazy. But we do have to head back the way we came. Back to the Xenon Gate. I will enjoy my say, thank you. This is a great year, full of very broken things that I just discovered recently. Also, we got that regulator. We were coming back this way anyway. We got, we got your thing. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, we got the Gradius already. I forgot. I forgot about that very broken gun I just got. So, of course, this will drop us off at the end of time, which means we're going to have to go back through the Cult of Lavos at least one more time. But at least I can show how to sneak past them. We need to head to 2300 AD. Because there's another new area. It's that one lab that we didn't go to, because it could probably kill us by that time. We're going to go to Lab 64. So that's not too far from the Bangor Dorm as it is. Yeah, here's the Bangor Dorm. This is where Poor used to be. And now it's a wreck. And it's filled with Toxic! We might as well get this part out of the way right now. 
none of these men, mermen, lizard think, where are you going? Where are you going? That does, that violates physics right there. Luca does not agree. None of those guys are too interested in attacking you. Try not to get them on screen when you're fighting this thing, now. It's the Emperor Room! We can do this first, because he's kind of easy. All he does is have HP, and he has a fire attack. So we can cover it out with the magic wall. And then we can give him our own fire scarecrow! Yeah, that's his fire attack right there. Actually, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. We're not even wearing fire-resistant gear. Well, Luca is. Kinda. No, I took that offer. How do you like that fire? Did you enjoy that fire? It was great, wasn't it? He's a robot fist in the face. The biggest threat about this guy is he will have health. It's a lot like, a Like Sir Crawley. No, wait. No, it's like the Golems. The Golems are a pain in the butt with their iron orb, and this guy is kind of the same thing. So you kind of have to keep an eye on your team's health to make sure the fire attack doesn't kill you. Because that would be insulting to die to, like, 14 damage. He's a little bit more durable than I expected him to be. Probably because I... Oh, Uzi punched the wrong guy. Alright, we had to shut off Jerono at the end of the fight. So we got ourselves a mushroom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not. Well, it's not poisonous, so we got that on our side. If you have any of these fishmen hanging around next to it, you'll have to fight a Nereid, which is one of those weak fishmen from the swamp. And they'll probably die in one hit. But this next part is going to need some planning. I'm going to get a blue plate off a of frog. And I'm going to put it on Luca. Also get out the blue vest for Magus. Because this next guy loves his water damage a lot like the Frog King. And it's guarding a life sparkle. We're gonna need that. This enemy is kind of a gimmick fight, though. It's necessary to keep Robo alive for this. Why did I put the blue vests on everybody but Robo? Well, that's because... Uh, science. It's because science. This enemy has a 5,000 HP cure, too. We gotta do 5,000 damage to it, but we also have to outpace its healing. And it has water damage. Which is gonna use on Robo as many times as it wants, because it knows the Robo's weak against it. So this is where you bang out the big damage. Like Omega Flare. It does like 2,500 damage. Two of those, and we could outpace his healing. Also, Drono is helping out with damage as well. But he only heals 5,000. He's not really healing the full every time he does that. So if you keep the pressure on him, you can outdamage his healing and eventually kill the guy. He doesn't really have a lot of health. Probably has yeah, maybe about ten thousand in total. Maybe even less than that. This is the ROM hack portion, so there's no real um, there's no real HP to speak of that you can find out about. Maybe if you brought like the, the sight scope along from the beginning of the game and then sell it like I did. Just try to keep ahead of his healing as much as possible. Hope he doesn't use water attacks on the person that can't become water immune. I don't think we found the boss that we could steal another blue mail from. Nope, that's still not it. He's still ticking. Still using water damage. 
Again, the only person he could kill is Robo, but we need Robo for the dual tech, or the triple tech. By this time, I had the battle done with. Maybe dual techs on a single tech will do more damage, but Omega Flare is really cool. Ah, we got him! Get some tech points, get some gold. More importantly, we get that life sparkle. Yeah! A life sparkle in a place like this. That's kind of strange. But we could run this back to Mr. Bangor. Which involves going back through the Cult of Lavos. Back up and around. In uh, 1999. I wanted to show you you could sneak past the enemies. The only enemies that you really need to fight. I did it once, accidentally. And I took note of it. Just keep running right. These enemies are here. I... They saw me. Meldrat! The last time I was able to swoosh right past that blob guy. He did not see it coming. He didn't see those laser beams coming either. Blowing up Cthulhu's. Why are they worshipping a Lavos? Were they really worshipping? Because I think they were just kind of like here. They just got in because humans were here. And you know what happens with humans. They wanted to nip that in the bud. Then everybody just started calling them a cult. That's what I think happened. I think there's some negative press going on here. Now we sheltered up then. I had to use my high potion, unfortunately. My only high potion that I got in this entire game so far. But back through the gate. You might be thinking, man, there should be a more convenient way to do this. And you're right! There should be a more convenient way to do this. We're already at 22 minutes, and we only just got to see poor. And a, a little bit of... Truce. We have so much more to see, so much more to do. There's three whole continents we could go to now. Why am I faffing about with Mr. Bangor? All those questions will be answered once we stop faffing about with Mr. Bangor. Gotta go back through the Fiona's Park. All these weird people doing weird things. That weird child that looks like Cloud. He has blonde, spiky hair. He's Cloud. You can't tell me differently. This is where Midgar shows up. So we got ourselves a life sparkle. This is super useful to do this quest as soon as you can. Which it activates um, around the time you get Fiona's forest going, I think. Wow, this place is so swanky that it changed Luca's color. We found a homo sap. Part plant, part animal. But it needs life sparkles. That means it needs some kind of radioactive environment. Oh, hey, I think I saw this thing before. It's Charlotte from Twi Trials of Mana. I almost said Twiles of Mana. Ugh. Put it back. Oh, okay, it's better now. Darn, I can't show them a Charlotte. They already played that game. The voice acting was terrible. I can't even live in the suite with it anymore. So, yeah, we, we just got his suite. That's pretty sweet, if you ask me. And this. Are you saying what I think you're saying? And yes. The entire point of this quest is so you can get your epoch here. This place belongs to us now. And that's not really Charlotte, that is, um, Neo Fio from Chrono Cross. This is where she came from, or at least one of her kind. But the team is shacked up here now. Frog is napping on the couch. Marl is... Fancy! Wow, Marl, that was a while ago. 
Slow on the uptake, huh? C can I pet your octopus? Okay, fine. It only likes Marl. Luca, maybe you want to wash that stuff off before you do any more adventuring today. And that's where the epoch is parked. But there's another thing to this place besides being able to go to the epoch. There will be a save point out back. We can look at the ruined wasteland. It's clearly not ruined wasteland yet. We must be having some kind of time fissure. Probably due to all the time shenanigans. That's a backdrop from 2300. Anyway, this place. Everything here is a massively reduced price. Like maybe 75% off? We could top up on everything. Including these. These sell to us for 875. We can sell them back to the fridge for a thousand. We just discovered stonks. Buy mid ethers. Sell mid ethers. And do that until you have infinity money. Just infinity money. I will be doing this later. This is how I'll be doing tabs. This is how I'm going to utterly destroy this game. Look at that, we already have- we started at like 45,000 and now we have 64,000. That's after I bought just 99 high potions. Just like out of nowhere, I just did that. I am filthy stinking rich! F the police! You can't stop me! I'll just buy the police force! With my money! 96,000! We can keep going. 99 mid ethers is about 86 grand. 99 mid ethers is 99 grand. 13,000 G profit every time I do that. Jeez, no wonder Mr. Bangor got rich! And we're not done yet! We still have two more continents to go. We own a suite that just prints money. And, well, we have a chip. And we got mushrooms. We can do mushrooms. Time flies when you're getting rich. Yeah, I got you your mushrooms, actually. Fortunately, the mushroom was right where we needed to go for the life sparkle, or I wouldn't know where to go to look for it. Here you go. It, it might be poisonous, we're not quite sure. Our robot tasted it and he said it was okay. Oh, Apocalypse Arm. It's a robo-weapon. Come on, come on, hurry it up. The guy's waiting, he's starving. Wow, that looks like crap. Awesome! Good hustle! Wow, he jumped out of his chair to say that! He's standing on the chair! Oh no. Well, he's dead. It turned him into a mushroom! So, if we were to give the chef a chicken... We'll talk about that another time. We got a new party member! Mush Guy! It's another Chrono Cross reference! You can get a guy named Fun Guy, he is a living mushroom. I think it's because a dude ate a mushroom and died. Very similar to what this guy did. Do you have anything to say about this? I'm clicking on you! How about you? I... I don't even want to know. I don't have to know. I refuse to know. She's not even noticing, she's watching YouTube. Uh... So, uh, what could you do that... You can't... 
do a drono for? Uh, okay. Ew! Right out in the middle of public! I'm pretty sure that's illegal! That was unnecessarily ridiculous. It's a good thing they banned it jail in, like, 1985. But we did get an apocalypse arm out of it. That's extremely weak. But so was the wonder shot. And I'm not quite sure what it does, because the game doesn't tell us. You know what, we might as well do some science with that thing. And we're done with poor. That's everything to see in poor. And the Bangor Dome. And 30 minutes in! Holy crap! We, we're gonna have, like, a, another video of 1999, folks, so uh, we got a lot of side quests to do here, and a lot of things to see. A lot of wonderful things. I'm gonna have to hold off till next time, doing these teleporters and all that. We didn't even go to that island they told us about. There's so much stuff! So much extra things! We can go to all these places now. So, next time on Chrono Trigger Plus, let's check in on some old friends, like the Mystics, and uh, the people of Chorus, and the Question Marks. Whoever they are. Good night, folks.